Before we begin today's ceremony, I would like to acknowledge traditional custodians on the land on which this ceremony is taking place, Wanawuru land, acknowledging the elders, ancestors and next generation coming through. Family and friends, good afternoon and welcome to the wedding of Ashley Taylor Evans and Samuel Lawton Moran. On behalf of Ash and Sam, I'd like to thank everyone for their efforts that you have made to be here today. I'd like to take a moment now to remember those who are not with us here today. Nanny Harkin, who is unable to travel, and those who are no longer with us, Poppy Harkin, Poppy Evans, and Papa Noland. Even though these loved ones are not here with us physically today, these people are, have been part of the foundation that makes Sam and Ash the people they are. I ask you to all cherish their memories during this beautiful occasion. Like fine wine, Ash and Sam's relationship has matured with time, enriched with their shared values and dreams for the future. To celebrate these qualities and all they have come to know and love about one another, with Ash and Sam standing here today hand in hand, I'm going to take you back down memory lane and reflect on their journey together as they soon become husband and wife. Bridal party, if you please take your seats.
like a tale as old as time, it was back in 2016 that Ash and Sam first met at a house party. Sam, ever the opportunist to notice Ash had a spare seat by her side and with a little help from her, their friend Leo, their proclaimed matchmaker, decided to ignore whose the seat was being saved for and took an opportunity to sit down anyway. Little did Ash and Sam know this simple act of claiming a seat would set the stage for a lifetime of unending laughter and joking around ever since. Throughout the night, Ash and Sam would keep bumping into each other, but noticed that they were hitting things off straight away. Sam was initially captivated by Ash's beauty, but as, she sat, as he sat down, it was her energy and excitement that truly drew him in. Ash's enthusiasm for life was infectious, which too remains a quality that continues to inspire Sam to this day. Ash, on the other hand, initially saw Sam as a bit of a know-it-all. <laughs> but quickly realised that Sam genuinely knew a lot and <laughs> Throughout their constant bumping and hanging out with each other that night, Ash immediately felt deep down that she had found a very good friend in Sam. Ash knew she wanted to see him to stay in her life and desperate to see Sam again, Ash would go as far as drive from across the other side of the bridge merely to meet Sam at uni to catch up over a coffee between classes. As sharing over time, she saw that this is a testament to the gravity Sam has on those around him, finding out two other friends did exactly the same thing. The summer of 2016 and 17 was pretty casual for two good friends. Ash and Sam would find themselves hanging out by the pool, the beach, and heading to bars and clubs with friends. And then one day, just before Ash took off for a three-week holiday to Japan, upon dropping Ash home, Sam startled Ash with a request to join him for dinner. Of course, agreeing straight away, Ash found her most nicest dress and off they went to a fresh French restaurant in Crow's Nest. Sam, wanting to enjoy the French cuisine with Ash, convinced her to try some snails for the first time. Ash, eager to impress and not seem uncultured, obliged, <laughs> even though Ash wasn't a fan. And this was only something Ash confessed many years later. However, with her mature palate, Ash still continues to enjoy snails with Sam seven years on. As Ash went on her three-week trip to Japan, distance only strengthened their bond as they spoke every day. There isn't a single moment that defines their relationship, took, when their relationship took off, or when they knew that they were in love. From the very beginning, Ash and Sam spent most of their time together, and after Izzy and Gordy's wedding before their first date, Ash knew that she was falling in love with Sam. For Sam, the moment he knew he was in love, well, their love was something special, was a during a weekend getaway after Ash returned, returned from her holiday. Sam whisked Ash up here to the Hunter Valley, where they deepened their connection over their shared love for wine. Ash and Sam also visited good friends, Mike and Julie, at their cellar door. Prior to being called Bim Badge and Palmer's Lane, it was Worthington's. Ash and Sam are so thrilled to stand here today, hand in hand, celebrating their love and place that they formed some of their foundational moments. One of Ash and Sam's favorite activities is sharing a lovely bottle of wine together. This simple pleasure has given rise to countless beautiful memories from dimly lit bars, trips around the Hunter and Barossa Valley, and wine tasting in the Bordeaux country side in France. And even as they are enjoying great meals with friends, Sam expresses a shout out to fellow Bimbaginers who helped make them so excited for their wedding venue. Who are those people? The fellow Bimbaginers. <laughs> there you go, thanks guys. <laughs> you know who you are. It's in these simple moments of sharing wine and meals, especially when they take themselves to Chester White, that have become somewhat symbolic to Ash and Sam's shared love and connection. Travelling together is another one of their favourite things that they enjoy doing. Ash fondly recalls their travels as combining all their favourite things, exploring new places, discovering new cafes, bars and restaurants, and most importantly, sharing these experiences together. Ash and Sam's adventures have included many trips to Parisha for skiing, where despite the differences in skiing or snowboarding, they have found the joy in the cold together. Ash and Sam share many fond memories from stopping for Irish hot chocolates at the Air Tea, Bar, tea Cafe and enjoying apres sp ski glasses of red wine at the Corrobori Lodge before late night car game lessons together. One particularly magical moment was during a five week trip to America where they celebrated Christmas in New York. On Christmas Eve, just before midnight, it began to snow. A light sprinkling that made their first Christmas together in New York extra special. During this time, Sam also shared his love for Broadway with Ash, attending three shows and creating wonderful memories, including Sam really leaning into Ash's obsession for all things Christmas. <laughs> Sam's thoughtfulness consideration of full day plans for Ash's birthday 
was filled with even more magical moments as she, as she recognized his deep love and care that he had for her. Their trip to Japan with the Moran family for Christmas 2017 was another highlight. On New Year's Eve in Hiroshima, Ash recalled stumbling upon a tra traditional Japanese New Year's fireworks celebrations and, and, el sorry, and eating palm-sized oysters. They must have been huge. <laughs> While immersing them... Not my oh, right, they're very big. <laughs> in their local culture. In January and February 2020, they embarked on an incredible special trip to France. From bustling streets to Paris, to the highs of sipping champagne on the Eiffel Tower, to the tranquil French countryside, finding a new passion for big cities and joy in every moment. Despite the cold and quiet in the countryside, Ash and Sam made the best of what they had. Cooking at home, enjoying slugging night in with the, in front of the fire, having chats while raiding Sam's boss's wine cellar. Shout out to Beck and Chris. <laughs> A lot of shout outs here. <laughs> Moving in together has been a significant milestone in their relationship from their first shared apartment in Chippendale with their friend Lachlan to enjoying that having now having their own space in their current home. Their current apartment initially a rental became even more special uh, when they offered came even more special when after a lot of determination they bought it making it truly theirs. And after moving into their home there came time for a dog of course. After a month of wearing Sam down, <laughs> dotting the I's and crossing the T's with the landlords and a serious conversation over a drink at the pub, Ash and Sam were on their way up here to Maitland to pick up their Toby and welcome him into their lives. With Ash's determination to get her dog, their eventual arrival of Toby brought a new constant warmth of and happiness into their home. And Sam agrees Toby's presence has made their lives even more joyful and complete. Looking back over all Ash and Sam have achieved together, one of the great, one of the proudest achievements has been their ability to weather the storm of COVID isolation. During a time that tested many, they grew even closer, finding strength in each other and creating a supportive and loving environment. Their ability to communicate openly about challenges and work together through difficult times is a testament to the strong foundation of their relationship. Another significant accomplishment was buying their home in Sydney Initially facing rejection from their landlords, Sam and Ash dedicated themselves to the property market for months. Eventually, persistence paid off when the landlords changed their minds, allowing Sam and Ash to purchase their very apartment that they now call their beloved home. Through these achievements, Sam and Ash have shown just what the power of perseverance and love and teamwork can really look like. And now I'd like to reflect with you all the story of how Sam proposed, a moment in time that perfectly captures the essence of them both. For us ladies, the pivotal moment that it must be shared, it was a Thursday night before that Ash was complaining to Sam about her chipped nails not being nice for her work photos. Sam, ever the considerate partner, suggested Ash gets them done the following morning, but Ash, not realising what was actually coming, just blows off the suggestion, thinking that can be a weekend job. But Ash agrees, as always, she should have listened to Sam. <laughs> Come Friday afternoon, Ash was at home on the couch with Toby and upon, upon Sam coming home, he had straight to the bedroom just to drop his things off. Unbeknown to Ash, the, what was an ordinary day was about to become an extraordinary day. As, as, as Sam called out to Ash, teasing her with a surprise and after a playful exchange, of course, Ash asking, is it another puppy? <laughs> <laughs> Sam asks Ash to close her eyes. With Toby playfully at their feet, Ash opens her eyes to not see a new puppy, but Sam down on one knee ready to ask Ash the most heartfelt question. Ash, will you marry me? Ash and lost for the right, Ash lost for the right words. Her responses mixed with excitement, shock, and abundance of joy finally led to her resounding yes. Sam capping off their perfect proposal organized for an incredible intimate dinner at Esther for them to celebrate this actual most momentous occasion. As I bring their admirable love story to a close, ready for their new chapter, I'd like to share some heartfelt reflections Sam and Ash share about one another. Sam sums Ash up as passionate, generous, and caring. Sam sees Ash's, Ash's passions shine as she lives with constant enthusiasm for life, finding joy and amusement in both the big and the small things. Ash's generosity shines through in her love language of gift giving, always thinking about others and striving to make them feel comfortable, welcome and happy. Sam deeply appreciates how Ash is incredibly generous with her time, labeling Ash's efforts as a precious commodity. Ash's caring nature is something Sam profoundly admires, from the love and care Ash devotes to Sam and Toby daily, to her ability to connect and build strong bonds with her clients and her friends. 
reflecting on little gifts Ash brings Sam, to him they are a clear sign of her love and the fun that they share together. Sam mostly values the comfort and capability they share. Ash keeps Sam grounded and reminding him to enjoy life when he gets too serious and gives him energy to be his best self. Sam also values the support Ash gives him when it comes to his dedication to work, but isn't too afraid to challenge Sam to ensure that his motivations for work are for the right reason. For Ash, she sums Sam up as thoughtful, captivating and brilliant. Ash's favourite thing Sam does is a small ritual on weekends. No matter how sleep deprived Sam may be, Sam still gets up early and lets Ash sleep in. Takes Toby out for a walk and returns with a coffee. It's a playful wake up call from Toby jumping all over the bed upon their return, which is quickly forgiven from the smells of coffee aromas. <laughs> highlighting Sam's perfect blend of thoughtfulness and humour. In reflecting on what Ash has now that she didn't have before, Ash shares it's a feeling of safety and calm. Ash appreciates their partnership where they change the way they challenge and better each other, and of course, where they share their beloved Toby. Looking forward, Sam mostly is excited about spending the rest of his life with Ash, making new memories, going on new adventures, starting with their honeymoon, Ooh. <laughs> and building a family together. Ash does not expect much to change between them as their relationship is already filled with so much happiness, security, and love. However, Ash eagerly anticipates the everyday moments that will continue to define their bond. And with a touch of humour and love for the new title, Ash looks forward to quoting the incredible movie, I am your yeah, wife. wife. <laughs> I am the greatest good you're ever going to get. <laughs> so what do you say, guys? You ready? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Ashley Ogle and I am a marriage celebrant. I'm duly authorised by law to solemnise marriages according to law. Before you join in marriage in my presence and the presence of these witnesses, I am to remind you of the solemn binding nature of the relationship you are now about to enter. Marriage according to law in Australia is a union of two people to the exclusion of all others, voluntarily entered into for life. Yeah. I ask everyone here to witness that I, Ashley Taylor Evans, take you Samuel Broughton Moran, to be my lawful wedded husband. <laughs> Sam, from the moment that you told me you're wrong and here's why, <laughs> I knew that I truly met my match. <laughs> People always say, who would have thought that we would end up standing here today? But I bet you knew. <laughs> you were right. <laughs> Sam, you are the most thoughtful and considerate person I have ever met. You are always thinking about others before yourself, whether that's me, Toby, a friend, or a colleague. No matter what's going on with you or how busy you are, you are always thinking of others and always making sure that those around you feel special. I am so captivated by you. One of my favourite things to do is listen to you passionately tell a story or argue your opinion, even though sometimes you do forget important details of the story. And I know that sometimes I may cut you off, but that's just because my second favourite thing is when we tell stories together and fill in each other's blanks because we make such a great team. You always make me smile and you always make me laugh, whether it's dancing in the living room quoting our favourite TV shows or sharing funny Instagram videos together, I can never wipe the smile off my face when I'm with you. I love your sense of adventure, even though sometimes it means you veto my suggestion to go to dinner at Chester White. <laughs> I love exploring new places with you, whether it's a new restaurant or a bar in Sydney or small towns in the French countryside where nothing's open for miles. I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life exploring with you. You're the best at winding me up, and you're the best at, cal at calming me down. You're the steady hand I reach for when my mind gets carried away. You're my biggest cheerleader and you always manage to keep up with my crazy energy. I feel so lucky to wake up next to you each and every day. And I'm the best version of myself when I'm with you. Sam, I promise to always greet you first when I get home. <laughs> Not in order of importance, but because I know that you don't like to kiss me after I've let Toby lick my face. <laughs> I promise to always cheers and clink my glass with you before we take the first sip of any drink or beverage. 
with eye contact, quality. Yeah, <laughs> <know, you> know. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to always hold your hand across restaurant tables when you reach out for mine, even if the tables are sticky or we knock over a candle. <laughs> I promise to support you through all that you do and want to achieve. And I also promise to nag you to put down work and come to bed every once in a while. I promise to fall in love with you every day, to grow with you and beside you, to laugh with you, to cry with you, I'll cry, <laughs> to cherish you, to love you every day for the rest of our lives. Sam, you are my best friend, and today you will officially become my bestie for the restie. <laughs> Anywhere with you is everywhere that I want to be. You make me feel so loved, supported, and special each and every day, and I promise to spend the rest of my life making you feel the same. I love you. I ask everyone here to witness that I, Samuel Gorton Mallon, take you, Ashley Taylor Evans, to be my lawful widow wife. As you and everyone else here know, I'm really at a loss for words. But it took me a long time to work out what I was going to say today. In more than seven and a half years of us dating, we've shared so many special memories. Skiing, traveling, beautiful meals. But it's the more normal moments. Walking Toby, dancing in the kitchen while making ricotta gnocchi, curly up on the couch to watch Shit's Creek for the thousandth time <laughs> that stand out as truly special. Because what you've taught me is that love isn't about the big dramatic gestures, it's the small things. It's just enjoying the daily tasks with someone who makes your day brighter. You have an energy and an enthusiasm for life, which is unparalleled. You make me smile even when I'm stressed, tired or frustrated, which is probably far too often. I promise to always enjoy these mundane moments to come grocery shopping, to always clink glasses when sampling wine, <laughs> to separate your undies and socks from your tights <laughs> without complaining too much, <laughs> to make sure every single day that you know how happy you make me and to never to go to bed without telling you that I love you. As everyone here knows, you wear your heart on your sleeve. You care deeply for your friends and family. It's a powerful gift and I promise to always cherish it and to constantly try to be more like you. You know I hate to see you upset and that my first instinct is to rationalize, to solve or to explain problems. I promise to try to always remember to first ask, are we solving or venting? <laughs> <laughs> I promise to listen to you and to make sure that no matter how busy life is or how trivial the problem, that I'll always be there as a shoulder to lean on. Thank you for always supporting me. You drove us to get a dog which, before today, was the best decision we have made. <laughs> you did the absolute lion's share of the wedding planning and constantly support me when work is absolutely mental, particularly these last few months. I promise in turn to always be your biggest supporter and believer. I'm so incredibly proud of how you've carved out your career. It's had its challenges, but your determination, your commitment, your adaptability are a testament to you and something that I learn from every day. I struggled to write these vows because I so desperately wanted them to be perfect, but that's hard to achieve. And sometimes it's the mess, it's the unplanned stuff, like going on a different run on a fresh powder day, <coughs> or proposing while Toby throws a tennis ball at your foot, <laughs> which produced the best outcomes. So finally, I promise to remember to just enjoy and cherish every moment we have together, to be excited to make plans, but to be excited when those plans change and to promise to always be excited to be able to share my life with you. Ash, I love you and to steal the words of Chandler Bing, you are the person I'm meant to be with and to spend the rest of my life with. I cannot wait. Mm. Isn't that funny? <laughs> 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 
Do you, Sam, take Ash to walk hand in hand, honouring, cherishing each other as you embark on this beautiful journey in marriage? I do. Will you, Ash, commit to Sam supporting his dreams, celebrating his joys, communicate clearly and love Sam unconditionally throughout your lives together? I do. I'd now like to ask Ash's dad, Reese, to please join us up here to pass Ash and Sam their rings. For a little context, as some of you may know, the famous Ryan from St May has made the many rings amongst you all. Put your hands up if you've, if you're in a St May. We've got one. We've been told there's more there. There we go. Congrats, guys, for having a reason. <laughs> Just like Ryan created these rings with the perfect craftsmanship, Reese too handcrafted this wooden box that he has for Ash and Sam today. Part retired hobby now, right? <laughs> From the beginning of time, meeting one another, they have molded, a, molded their relationship into what they're celebrating here today, a beautiful union. Ash and Sam allow the many sparkles in Ash's don't ring, remind you of the joy and love that you intimately share, and the circle of your rings remind you of the strong bond that you've both created. Ash and Sam, when I walk away, you may exchange your rings. <laughs> it also fits. <laughs> Ash and Sam, now you have exchanged your rings and vows. It is my great pleasure. I can now pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations! You may kiss! <laughs> join us their mothers and everyone just hang tight and we'll be back with you in a moment i also would like elizabeth lessie and georgia to hand out some petals please and zoe <laughs> zoe can come too sorry <laughs> <laughs>